I love hiking. Ever since I was a kid, I have loved exploring the hills surrounding my house, and being outside for me has always been such a liberating and relaxing experience. Um, for me, nature is therapeutic, and it, it makes me feel whole. One of my favorite heroes, um, John Muir, has gone on to say things such as, going to the woods is going home, and, you know, climb a mountain or spend a week in the woods, wash your spirit clean. John Muir was a mountain man, he's a real, real cozy guy, let me tell you. And I have felt these same relieving feelings as I've explored nature. But fascinatingly enough, I feel these same feelings as I explore the various worlds of video games. Yeah, it sounds crazy. You know, how can one feel the same feelings they do while being outside while they're sitting on their butt playing video games? But I think I would be negligent if I were to deny the emotional, nostalgic, and calming effect. I got a text. <laughs> but I think I'd be negligent if I were to deny the emotional, nostalgic, and calming effects that video games can have on people. For example, um, take a look at any comment section of any relaxing video game compilation on YouTube. And the comments usually consist of people reminiscing on older times or talking about how the corresponding game and its soundtrack got them through a hard time in their lives. You know, these compilation videos I'm referring to actually usually consist of music that's played while the player is exploring the game's world. These are the atmospheric tracks that are in the background while the player is simply playing the game. And this is what I want to gush about with this video. Hear me out. Video games have been so liberating and relaxing for me, as has nature and being outside has as well. And I want to talk about some examples that show this correlation between nature and video games. And even if hiking isn't your jam, I hope that this video shows how video games can be relieving and enlightening, just as any other activity can be as well. You know, like reading books or sewing or swimming. And I just want to start with a little game called Breath of the Wild. I, <laughs> I don't know if you've heard of it. <laughs> it's hard to explain to someone who isn't a video game enthusiast why I spend so much of the time in Breath of the Wild just taking screenshots. There is just so much beauty in this game. It's, 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 gor it's gorgeous and it's incredible. To explain what I mean, um, I have a buddy who said God of War, um, recently released for the PlayStation 4, had several jaw on the floor moments, jaw dropping moments. And honestly, I can't relate because I've never beaten the game, but those quote jaw on the floor moments happen with me and Breath of the Wild all of the time. You know, I would be more keen to call them quiet moments or to be more literal, um, sitting on the porch moments. And I often find myself in Breath of the Wild just stopping, looking in the distance and just soaking it all in. These moments are made possible through the beautiful art design, the soundtrack, and simply the mechanics of the game allowing me to take moments to just breathe and to be myself even if it is through Link. And Breath of the Wild is just one example, but there are so many games that have these elements and these moments like this. You know, Donkey Kong Country with its lush backgrounds and its sweet, sweet tunes, and Dark Souls, Bloodborne, and Sekiro with their vast distances of lore-filled environments, Shadow of the Colossus and simply riding around on your horse between the fights, Earthbound and exploring the quaint town of Tucson. Chrono Trigger with its various locations and beautiful background music. Super Mario Galaxy with its pretty and bright planetoids. And there are so many more examples of these beautiful nature moments in video games. And I can honestly say that each of these examples evoke that feeling that I mentioned earlier. Going to the woods is going home. So I mean, what's the, what's the big deal, you know? Video games are just games. They're ways to play and... <laughs> I mean, while that is true from certain perspectives, I'm sure there is so much more to video games. Video games are doorways into rich worlds made from the imaginations of real people. Real people who have experienced life, struggles, and 
you know, nature across different parts of the world. Shigeru Miyamoto himself has said that The Legend of Zelda was inspired by his childhood adventures in the mountains surrounding Kyoto, Japan. So while these places and video games are very fictional, they are also very real. Real in the sense that they are inspired by real places, real people, and real experiences. So when you as a player stop to look at a sunset in Breath of the Wild and feel calm, maybe that is the same calm that the developer felt while looking at a sunset that could have inspired the game itself. What I'm trying to say is, is that these beautiful nature moments that we have in video games, they come from the beautiful nature moments that we have in real life. So with this in mind, I honestly don't think I'm crazy for feeling this way about the worlds and the, the environments in video games. And if you feel that way too, you shouldn't feel crazy or silly either. These worlds matter. They can make you feel at home. They can calm you during a difficult time in your life and they can inspire you to be a better version of yourself. And that's just the same as an outdoor walk can do in the real world as well. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video. It's a very, very personal one, very, very fun one to make. I, I don't know, I just, I love talking about the video games with the boys and the girls, you know? It's a, it's a good time. Um, make sure to subscribe and to like and to share and to comment and all that jazz. And I'll see you guys again when I make a new video. <laughs> Okay.